Hello and welcome back to the channel and in this video it's the big one Basingstoke Town travel to Chertsey in the Ishmael South Central playoff semi-final Gemma it's the one we've been buzzing for for the last few days since the confirmation of this semi-final at Wet Chalfont St Peter last Saturday um, we're buzzing aren't we absolutely, yeah we can't wait absolutely buzzing for this um, we're recording this the night before because I'm gonna have to rush from work um, and then go straight up to Chertsey but um, it's gonna be an amazing game the last two times we played these guys um, first game was at home in November December time we got battered 5-1 at Winklebury um, and then we played away at their ground and, and it was a nil-nil stalemate um, on a very wet day and a terrible pitch and they was all over us so um, we've not had a good record against them overall but um, hopefully we can put that to right this time and knock out the, um, the clear favourites for the playoff, um, playoff promotion push um, and the other playoff semi-final has been Hamwell Town and Bedfont Sports so whoever wins this game will play on obviously either one of those sides um, so if we win we'd be, we'd be playing Bedfont or Hamwell away if Chertsey win they'd be hosting one of them two sides um, in terms of the Chertsey side the main man for them attacking man is Jake Baxter who, is around, who has I think 28 goals to his name all season in, in all competitions um, the former Hartley Whitney man, so he'll be one to watch. But um, Bays and Stoke will will be yeah, we will be without Stephen Brown and uh, Bradley Wilson. Um, but of course, you can expect maybe Brad, Brady Pert on in the side, uh, Marcio Neves, McCoy Palmer. So we've got plenty of options in midfield and up front. Of course, heavily Lynchy as well, Gemma. Hopefully, he can get another goal. Yes, um, but the atmosphere is going to be absolutely electric. I can just sense it now. We have lots of Bays and Stoke fans. I'm hoping at least two. 250 of us is what I'm hoping. Um, in terms of Chertsey fans, I'm predicting at least a thousand of them. They're going to be a very well supported side. It's going to be near, a near sellout, I believe. Tickets are selling fast. Um, I've had to pre book a parking space at Sainsbury's at Chertsey just to make sure we get parked and get to the ground in time. Um, they're going to have their drummer again, which would be fantastic for the um, atmosphere and some of the banter as well. So I'm looking forward to that. They've got a, they've got a drum book. You didn't hardly play it last time. No, but. Um, I heard a little bit more on some of their, on their, some of their YouTube videos. Um, Chertsey when they played, I think with Guernsey, he did a drum a little bit more um, often. But um, it'd be great to have a little drumming war again, which I hopefully I'll win. Um, but yeah, there's plenty to look forward to this game. Like I said, the atmosphere is going to be electric. It should be a good game. I'm not going to predict the result. Um, I'm just going to say both teams will probably score a goal. I reckon there'll be plenty of goals tonight. And if it does remain level after 90 minutes of play, it will be extra time than a penalty shootout. But Gemma, come on, your prediction. What Have you got a prediction for the game? Result? I don't know. It's, it's going to be hard to say. I think so. I'm going just with a 1-0. I reckon we can just, just about do it tomorrow. Um, I just hope it doesn't go to extra time. And, and the penalty shoot because that's something that we don't want to have. Now, what's interesting about um, the two sides going into this one, obviously Basingstoke, we've got a far superior away record, so that's again in our favour. Um, our home record was terrible this season, we just want to forget about it. Um, but in terms of Chertsey, they're similar to Basingstoke actually, although their away form has been splendid. I think they might have been unbeaten the whole season away from home anyway, in the league anyway. We're Basingstoke Town and we always win away. We always win away, yep. Hopefully in this case, but um, again, Church as well. Their home record isn't as great, isn't that great either. So um, maybe the the um, it's written in the stars, as they say. Maybe that is the the good thing for us. Maybe maybe it's looking good. But um, no matter what happens, the sad thing is tonight. If uh, we still got the Northampton Cup final, um, should we lose tonight? But and that'd be a mixture of first team We're and youth players. Win. But however. Sadly, this could be the last time we see most of our first team players if they depart in the summer. It's you know it's different compared to the football league and Premier League where you just like your players, but you get to know our players in non-league, which is fantastic. So to lose any of them would be quite sad and disappointing. But changes have got to be made, um, you know, for the, for the good of the of the team, obviously. But um, we win. hopefully we win and make that playoff final. But um, we will. We win. But hopefully you join us in the night on this amazing journey. And um, we'll do it the base in Stoke Way and be amazing Stoke for the playoffs. Yep, so um, we'll see how the uh, how the amazing game goes, really. But um, hopefully, you stick around. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
So we're back and unfortunately the promotion push for Basingstoke Town is over. It finished Chertsey Town 4, Basingstoke Town 1. Um, Gemma, we're absolutely gutted but um, we have to remain loyal and we're proud of our team this season. Um, I've, I'm beginning to lose my voice, I'm knackered, you're knackered, it's nearly half 11 isn't it? Um, it's a long drive home. It's a long drive home. Um, Attendance was over a thousand one hundred, a lot less than what I thought actually, um, what some other people were suggesting beforehand. Um, they went one 0 up within the first ten minutes. That was then half time. Uh, second half they got their goalie sent off, um, handing the ball out the box. Um, and before you know it, obviously they they made it two. I think it was two nil, three nil. Then we made it three one in eighty seventh minute. A great long range lob um, over the keeper, or oh, sorry, outfield player was in goal um, from McCoy Palmer, and then they. Confirmed the win at 4-1. Um, the atmosphere was electric all game. We were fantastic. We got we were so proud of ourselves. Um, there was a lot that happened at the game. Wasn't there um, a Chelsea player sub? I believe um, actually physically hit one of our fans. Uh, I didn't. I don't know what was said or anything like that, which might have instigated it. But obviously, a player just needs to get on with it. Honestly, I know it's. I know it's frustrating if you're on the pitch, but players really need to. You know, just ignore it. It felt embarrassing at times because our fans threw stuff at their goalkeeper. Yeah, allegedly, yeah. Um, I've heard. So obviously, I, I didn't see anything get hit, I just saw them. And it looked like coins were being thrown at him as well. Mm. You know, it's a lot, so it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing sometimes when things like that happen, but, but in terms of if we forget that aside, the atmosphere tonight we was amazing. Their fans hardly have known them until you know, the last 10 minutes in the game. It makes you laugh, really. You know? <laughs> All on their social media. Oh, credit to the 1,140 fans. Well, hang on a minute. Of us, I think. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Wasn't that mainly us that got your little attendance up? <laughs> if none of us would have come, you would have had. You it's, wouldn't have had 1,140. Mm, it's fans. worth mentioning the other game tonight was uh, Bedfont Sports a one Hanwell Town. Come three. on, Hanwell. So Hanwell. Do it on Sunday, They're Hanwell. In the playoff final away at Chertsey on Sunday. Um, yeah, I just I don't know. I want to go and watch it and support Hanwell. Yeah, I know you're, very, I know you're very bitter about it. Um, do you know what? Chertsey, and I'm just, I've always said this all season, Chertsey are, to me, have always going to be the team that get promoted other than Bracknell. I feel like they deserve it. They've been the best team 
in this league apart from Bracknell all season. They battered us on every occasion. Even when we drew nil-nil at their ground last back in February, they was all over us. End of the day, Chertsey were the best team for the playoffs. They're the favourites. I went into this game expecting a defeat. I thought to myself it was a miracle if we can win, especially even though we got, got, got a great array. Uh, uh, even though we got a fantastic away record, Chertsey are such a good side. There's no denying it. And I just I uh, thought a miracle would happen. Would need to happen for us to win tonight. And they deserve to get promoted. I've got to say, they, they deserve a it. A miracle did happen. Their goalkeeper got sent off. Yeah. And then that one who replaced him, my God. Yeah, I know he, he got was a giving bit, it all I to know us. he was giving a bit he, of gob, wasn't he? And then number five, my God, yeah, he was giving us, five. He, was giving, he was giving us that. Um, I thought... The old W-A-N-K-E-R signal. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Um, Their fans are terrible. Their, the whole team is disgusting. Yeah, but... That's uh, what you say. I, mean, I'm not, I, don't, I don't think they were that bad, honestly. I don't think they were. I don't think they were that bad compared to some of the teams we've seen. So I don't think some of the fans would agree with you on that one. No, well, I don't care. Um, but anyway, in terms of this season, we've got the cup final. So look forward to the Northampton Cup final, Whitchurch United against Alsford. Um, so that's a mixture of, I imagine, first team and um, youth players. But I just want to say we are immensely proud of our team this season, and. It's been mine and Gemma's first season watching non-league and bases. I've always followed bases, but I've never really been a fan as such. I just sort of kept on saying the scores. Went to a few Camrose games and that. But we've absolutely loved every single game, even especially the away games, haven't we, Gemma? Some of the I've away never days. been to the Camrose. No, oh, I know. We hopefully got it one day to look forward to. You never know. But overall, we go again next season. We've got, look at the bright side. We get to go to Marlow again. We get to go to Fatchum again. We get to go to Tooting again. They're quite a good club, actually. I mean, they 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 got quite a good solid fan base. Tooting, but we'll have new adventures. We we'll have teams coming from leagues above, the leagues below. So there's plenty to look forward to. We go again next year. I'm sure we get back in the playoffs and get up there. With the and you know what? Who wants to win the playoffs anyway? What <laughs> we, we do? No, we want to win the league next year. So we're going to go for. Let's go for the league. Dan Brownlee's Barmy Army. And do you know what? It'd be interesting to see. Obviously, change is good at football clubs. It happens every year. It'd be interesting to see what changes are made, if any, in terms of the playing squad. Um, so not many, because we're happy with the players. We yeah, got. just there might be a few changes here and there, but but you know if yeah, but um you know the sad thing about tonight was this could be the last time we see some of the players on the, in a Basel Stoke shirt if they don't play in the Northamptonshire Cup final. So you know I just feel like you know if we do lose anybody, then we appreciate you playing. Like, honestly, it's been incredible getting to know all the players and that. It's it's been the best thing ever. And I've loved supporting Portsmouth, you know, last God knows how many years. But you can't compare supporting your local club to that because it's just been amazing getting involved with the club and the players and everything. And uh, the atmosphere has been incredible at times of the season. And tonight was was just was reminiscent of that game against Portsmouth, in fact, ironically, in the Hampshire Cup. It was absolutely fantastic. And, you know, it's just amazing. But anyway thank you for watching subscribe for more we've got a cup final to go to next thursday it doesn't matter how small tim potter it is it's a cup final so let's do it let's get a trophy to hopefully to end the season on a little high but until then we will see you next, next time, time.